Something told me we might hear from him. I know one thing. This guy talks a lot. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. Shh. Not exactly likable. on his mind. Maybe he just wants a friend, Cole. He's not going to keep us waiting, so let's find out. Yeah, he's got something to say, all right. In case you forgot or fell off, I'm still hot. Knock your shell off. My money stacked fat, plus I can't turn the swell off. The franchise through a big business. I live this is automatic. Poking the bear.
The fans are eating it up. Just a bully. Samoa Joe doing some damage. They're knocking him right down. Right on the kidneys. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stop. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. Makes the intention unmistakable to be little. Trying to humiliate your opponent. There's no place for that here. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. John Cena delivering a blow there. Did you see that? What a way to feel his wrath. I did see that, and I don't think he wants to see it again. That just crushed him. We've seen this before. Yeah, I thought we were stuck on a rerun there for a minute. And there it is. The referee is waving this one off. I don't blame him. That's the right thing to do.
Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. Well, in these head-to-head -head matchups, you've got no one to rely on but yourself. And that's the way it should be. Life doesn't get any better than this. But hey, everybody knows that when Dean Ambrose is here, we're all hanging on the lunatic yeah. fringe. Okay, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Baron Corbin here. To be honest, I was kind of expecting another Baron Corbin special here tonight. I guess the fact that this match is still going is a real testament to his opponent. Well, they're all real men. In the There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. Dean Ambrose can go stride for stride with any superstar in WWE, no matter how big or small. Ambrose launches a frenzied assault on opponents that combines brawling, air assaults, and submissions. Well, Michael, what makes the attacks you mentioned even more deadly for an opponent is that Dean Ambrose is one of the most... And he escapes the hole. Right to the kisser. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Oh, right on the crown of the skull. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. Dean Ambrose's range of skills certainly venture into the unusual, but the attacks and strategies helped Ambrose become the longest reigning United States champion in WWE history with a 351-day championship reign. That's the third longest ever, if you include the title's history in WCW and the NWA. Ow, what an elbow! Corbin looking a bit uneasy here, but he's very aware of who he's in there with. Watch it! And Dean Ambrose going for it early with... Nope, not enough to end this one. King, how's he still in this? He's pulling out all the stops tonight! You know, Dean Ambrose looks a little unhinged, and I won't argue that. But when you see Ambrose dismantle his opponents with speed, high-flying attacks, and all sorts of violence, there's no doubt that there's definitely a method to his madness. Watch out! And now Dean Ambrose could have this match in the bag. Uh-oh, there's the finisher. This might be over, and I mean all. Over. How does he do that? And that one hurt his hand. Look out, Baron Corbin. Game six. Now that Baron Corbin is going for it early. Can you believe King? This battle's not over yet. Yeah, but many more of those, and it will be. He sees it. Trying to put him away. End of days. Oh, man. You're right. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. He is slowly getting dissected. There he goes. Out of the ring. to rebound from that one. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's a oh, my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Yeah. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. there by Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin is getting deep six. Man, oh man, he can do it here. I think he's got it. Two, three. It's all over. That's the final 
Elimination. victory here tonight man oh man what a battle what a match and what a win congratulations whoa i think we're looking at the beginnings of what may very well be a successful wwe career it'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight your analysis of AJ Styles. Well, we're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here. This is some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. Well, I got a chance to talk to him before the show tonight, and he actually said a lot of stuff that impressed me. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he can impress me in the ring right now. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. You know, Michael, when a WWE superstar has the term show-off going across the back of their trunks, well, or the front, that gives you a pretty good idea of what they think of themselves and their ability in the ring. The thing with Dolph Ziggler is he backs it up every single night. Unleashing it for the second time now. a bit off his game here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. King Dolph Ziggler prides himself on being one of the most athletically gifted superstars in WWE today. Ziggler is a lifetime subscriber to the ideology, anything you can do, I can do better, and loves when he has a chance to prove it. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Oh, broker! We're going to see a lot of effective moves like that in this match. I don't want to know what that feels like. Yeah, well, I've felt it before, and you're right, you don't want to know. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh my gosh, his neck and back and shoulders driven right into the ground. Michael, you talked about Dolph Ziggler's abilities and his thoughts on, well, himself. And you know what, it's a bell. that's it. Wow, now that's what you call a finisher. This might be, we got a cover. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Yeah, but I think a little too early in this match for that to be successful. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Boy, he just got laid out. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Oh, Dolph Ziggler's cocky. He's arrogant and brash, and he loves showing the world what he can do in that ring. Ziggler looks to steal the show each and every time he's out there, and he prides himself on being the show-off. He was one step ahead on that one.
I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. Well, he's not looking as good as he was earlier, but that doesn't mean he's done. Zigzag! He's got it. Oh, man, there's the finisher. This could be it. You better believe He goes for the quick pin attempt. Count, Rich, count! Two! Looking to steal one there, perhaps. Yeah, I think it's way too early in the match for that to work. And he gets out of the way. And he dodges that one. Nearly driven through the mat. Extra slow getting back to his base here. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. Oh, look at the emotion. Wow, he's still down after that. Now it's difficult to get up from a fall like that, let alone continue competing in a match. You're right, this may be close to over. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Dolph Ziggler is famous, sir! The toll from this match is really starting to show. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie, he's wild in there. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Now, this is punishment. I've never heard of victory by using the same move, but we could see it here tonight. Well, it seems to be working fine so far. AJ Styles setting him up. Look at, look at this. Oh my God. Oh, flash. He's finished. What a finishing move. Two. This could be it right here. My gosh, what a display. Well, this might be the worst yet. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Dolph Ziggler, finisher! There it is, the finisher. This could all be over right now. Sweet chain music! Come on, come on! Oh, -ho. it could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Two. just witnessed one for the ages. I'll remember that one for a long time. Whoa, I think we're looking at the beginnings of what may very well be a successful WWE career. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. And that finishes off a big night on SmackDown. A couple of shots near the end there. For starters, Dolph Ziggler, despite being attacked by The Miz at a, right during his entrance really, was still able to beat a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion in AJ Styles. Before that match though, Baron Corbin was probably the biggest win of his career, pinning the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion in Dean Ambrose. Before that, we had Samoa Joe making his debut on SmackDown, call out the face that runs the place, John Cena. And boy, did they get into a scuffle. Pretty much all of our 
foremost tonight, ended with scuffles. Becky Lynch was able to beat Carmella using the disarmor, but after the match, it after the match came Emma, who basically has been is claiming that she should be the SmackDown Women's Champion. As Becky Lynch had to eliminate Emma last in order to win the championship on Sunday. Heath Slater, despite not having its partner, was able to defeat Dash Wilder. That's another shot to me. But Revival not having the greatest of starts here on SmackDown. Dean Ambrose had previously called out... No, sorry. AJ Styles had previously called out Dean Ambrose. Did not work out well for him. Called out Dean Ambrose, got beat up by Dean Ambrose. It hasn't been a good night for AJ Styles all around, really. Over in the tag team division, the new WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos, were victorious over Breeze Angle. And in the other women's match tonight, Nikki Bella was able to defeat Alexa Bliss. Nikki Bella tried to show some sportsmanship after the match, but Alexa Bliss, she wasn't having any of it. And of course, we started out the night with The Miz calling out the Ziggler and then The Miz getting his ass kicked. They're not being the greatest of nights for people calling out other people as they get their asses kicked. So, with no mercy, just three weeks away, 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 I can confirm that we have at least one match sorted for the pay per view. And that match is all the way over here. It will be Samoa Joe versus Sean Cena. First time ever at SmackDown's next pay per view. No mercy. That's all from SmackDown this week. Tune in to Raw next time as we have the Fallout and our new WWE Universal Champion in Big Cass. He's going to have to defend the title and our champions. But who will he face at night champions? Well, we will find out on Raw next time. I've been Joseph92G and thanks for watching.